welcome or welcome back to my channel if you don't know I'm Mary Essie and today I'm going to be doing a one year on YouTube special and I'm going to add some tips on how to get started on your YouTube channel and what I did to get started so before we get started don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's officially get started with today's video. first I just want to point out that I did my hair yesterday literally I started like at 6 p.m. and ended at like 12 I just added some beads on the end so I just want to point that out and I like how it turned out but yeah back to the video so this day today that this video is gonna be uploaded I had posted my first YouTube video which had a lot of problems that video had bad sound quality it was so bad like it was it was just so much going on because I used my sister's camera um it was an old camera so that's probably the reason why and I was I kept trying over and over and over to edit and stuff with this editing app it was like it was it was bad like I came a long way like I started you know just I was like you know what just forget it I'm just gonna post this video regardless of how it sounded like and that's what I did and boom that's my first video I've been a fan of YouTube for as far as I can remember um, I've been watching YouTube since like a child like seven eight and then I really started watching YouTube when I was like you know 12 11 and I actually had a YouTube channel with my friend back in middle school which we post like slime videos but but you know that was slime and it was popular at that time I've been always have been a fan of filming and I've always wanted to film a YouTube video I just never was like supposed to because I was never really supposed to have social media like that I was once I was able to post and do stuff I because I, I really wanted to do that so I had the opportunity and that's what I did so one year ago today and I made four let me check I think it's 446 subscribers and yeah that's good like for a year and trying my best to be consistent I think that is a great accomplishment and I'm well it's actually 448 so so yeah I made about 450 subscribers in a span of a year some people make more some people make less but it all is just your consistency and you know just being yourself and that's what I was able to do so throughout my YouTube journey it was pretty hard in a way of it was hard to find filming days and hard to find editing days especially when I started going back to school beginning of 2022 from January to May it was so hard I wasn't so consistent like I was because around September of 2021 to December 2021 I was online school I was virtual so I had more time but then the next half or the second semester I did not I did not have any time to, especially when I started playing sports I did not have any time at all so I wasn't able to be so consistent but I'm working on that and I think I'm doing well because I'm now in the, it's the summer I'm posting two times a week so that's that and I think it's it's just something you gotta work on especially if you want to do YouTube you just gotta have a schedule and everything so that's what I plan on doing and that's what I'm working forward to do so as far as editing I've been using DaVinci Resolve which I think is a great editing app but if you don't have like a computer or a high-speed laptop it wouldn't be for you so I've been using that since until maybe two weeks ago I used Filmora which I like it a lot and I think it's more easier and it's better because I got a laptop I just got a laptop it's an Intel 5 uh, so if you know about computers it's, it's a pretty decent computer or a laptop so it's pretty decent and uh, I tried to download DaVinci on it and somehow I don't know why I'm not really computer tech but something about the graphics or something just wasn't right so I just had to buy for more which I mean I don't regret because I really do like it a lot and I would recommend it I also recommend DaVinci Resolve if you have a high-speed computer or a high-speed laptop I would definitely recommend it it's very simple but Filmora French Kiss the I think that's just the best editing app out there and then Final Cut Pro which I don't have a MacBook so that wouldn't really work out so yeah that's what I've been doing I've just been editing on DaVinci Resolve for this whole time until recently like I stated I got a new laptop so I got Filmora and I think that's the best thing that happened to my channel as far as being a little different I try to be a little different with my uh, channel it's kind of hard and I just keep watching YouTube tutorials and seeing what I can do to you know to make my channel stand out from others because like I said I'm 
a small youtuber i just started this i've been doing this for a year now so i'm pretty new to the game i mean i've been watching i've been observing but i'm still new to this as far as content wise and i think doing youtube also is a great like experience and i think it's fun it's something you can do if you don't feel happy or if you want something to just do i think that would be it's very fun and it's like there's lots of opportunities you can make a living off of it it's just it's, it's i think it's just the best social media platform out there to be honest not only you can make money off of this but you can collab with other people and it just make it a fun experience for everyone and i think it's good for entertainment wise i think it's good for the people doing it i think it's just really fun i feel like if you're still thinking about doing youtube i think you should because one year ago today if i hadn't picked up the camera and was like i want to do this i don't know where i would be one year from then today like if i was on youtube i really have no idea what i'll be doing for fun or anything i would just be sitting at home in the summer just using my phone all day and i really don't think that is productive at all but doing something you love or doing youtube i think it really does spice up your life a little so if you're still thinking about doing youtube or making youtube videos i really think you should i really think you take that opportunity because if i hadn't done it like i said i don't think i don't know i don't know where i would be right now i really don't so i think if you're still debating on doing youtube you definitely should take the time to work on thumbnails or find the editing apps which you should use to film and i'm gonna get into the filming equipment too this video is a little out of order so i don't really know where but i'm gonna guess i'm gonna tell you guys about filming equipment when i first started i was using my sister sister's iPhone 6s to record which was hard because she didn't have an iPad at the time so it was like I had to try and make ways to hey can I use your phone real quick so I can film and you know what I mean so it was kind of difficult so yeah, I had to try and work my way but a month later I got a new phone which is my iPhone XR which I use I don't use to film but I use my old iPhone 6s because I don't know why let me think I, I don't think I, I use my iPhone 6s to like use the phone but I didn't use it to film I don't know why it was, it was some reason I really don't remember but it was some reason I think I don't have any storage yeah I think it was that I didn't have any space I didn't have any storage so once I was able to get a new phone I was so happy because I reset everything on this phone my iPhone 6s I reset everything and then it was good as new i could record and film and stuff like that so i'm really glad i had a new phone or i got a new phone because it would be hard so yeah i used my iphone 6s to record and hopefully by christmas time i can get a camera because i already have a laptop and i'm just waiting to get a camera so i can start filming and vlogging more often so yeah if you don't have a uh, iPhone I mean you can use whatever you can but if you're just starting I think an iPhone because this is iPhone 6s and I think it's pretty decent this is the front facing camera if I use the back camera I think the quality would be much better but I like to see myself so I can know like the angle is right or anything unless if you have a mirror behind you but I'd rather be able to see myself so yeah that's the filming part and really just start making videos do stuff that you see people doing if you see morning routine do morning routine and but you don't have to copy everybody you can do what everyone's doing but i think you should also do things differently as well instead of like doing everything you see people doing try and do that but like make it your own way or do it in a way that it's not like everybody else's if that makes sense i think like just being different also cap or catches people's attention so if you're still thinking about doing youtube and you got an iphone you can use iMovie, you can use CapCut, which I think is a great because I use that to make my intros and outros. There's many different free apps out there. And of course, you might have to spend maybe $5 on a really decent one, which I think really would be worth it because after all, this is something that you want to do. So I really do recommend it. You have your iPhone, you have a good editing app. Just get started. Just start making YouTube videos. And I also like to add that if you're a new YouTuber, ask people to subscribe to you like your friend. And I don't mean in a desperate way where you're like damning people and telling them that shout me out on your story because people used to do that they used to be like hey um I just post a new video could you tag it or put it on my on your story which i feel like is desperate and that's not really any authentic viewers because they, i don't know i just don't feel like that's okay just tell your people that you're starting a channel but or your friends and but don't try and force it because if they don't want to subscribe we, we you can't make them subscribe or you can't make them watch your videos and there's nothing really you can do about it so i suggest to you that you tell your
your friends you have a channel but just keep posting and don't worry about the views just keep doing it because you like to do it because one day you will have a cha your channel will blow up like as for TikTok for me I was when I used to make TikToks because if you don't know I used to make TikToks I don't I quit TikTok it was just too toxic for me but when I first started making TikToks I had like 50 followers 60 followers and then I posted this one video what went viral and it was like the most dumbest video ever and it was just for fun that got like over 200,000 views for what it was it really didn't make any sense I just you just do it for fun and then I jumped from 100 200 300 followers almost 4,000 so it's really just about doing stuff that you like to do and that's the same for you to do what you want to do and have fun with it because really at the end of the day the views don't matter the likes don't matter just do it and put it out there like Nike just do it like just because you never know that one video you were thinking about and you're like I don't think it's gonna get views and then you just don't post it what did that video did get views and even if it didn't keep going you can't just let certain things stop you because of what you think because at the end of the day this is all a process your favorite youtubers all started at one point they were getting like two three views every video they post but now look at you can't compare yourself to other people of course but everyone's journey is different and it, it just depends on how how determined you're willing to go so I think I've gotten every point I wanted to make I feel like there's more points but I mean that's basically my one year anniversary on YouTube and how I'm looking forward to posting more often especially since I'm a senior now hopefully more videos will be great especially college videos I really want to do college videos college tours dorm you know just those type of videos I really like watching it so I really can't wait to start making those because I know those is gonna be interesting to make and record and edit so yeah that's basically my youtube journey so if you're still thinking about doing youtube and you come across this video just do youtube and you won't regret it. you got an iphone you download cap cut you use fonto to make your thumbnails or pickstar you're good to go make it good quality videos invest in a, a ring light and you'll be good to go because at the end of the day if you decide to make a channel imagine one year later you're at like thousand subscribers like you would never know until you try so it won't hurt to just try so that's basically what my journey was and hopefully this inspired someone out there to make a channel as well because you never ever know what is in store for you. You don't know, so it won't hurt to try. So I guess that's basically it for today's video. I feel like there's some topics I missed out on because I didn't write anything. Or I didn't make it like a timeline, but that's basically my little, I guess, I don't know, just how one year later how I feel doing YouTube. That's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully I'll be able to post Friday. I should be able to post a video on Friday. But yeah, that's going to be it today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave it down below. And I'll see y'all in the next upload.